Hello everybody and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on how to create queries in Microsoft Access. Uh, this first tutorial is just going to show you how to set up your first query. So if you've watched my previous set of tutorials on Microsoft Access, you already know how to set up tables. Uh, if you haven't watched these, those tutorials then uh, I'll put a link at the bottom. But I've set up a database here with six different tables. Uh, we've got cities, countries, customers, employees, items, uh, and sales. Um, and these all uh, link into each other. If we go into our relationship window um, and then have a look at this. So we've got a, a countries table that just gives us the country uh, and the currency which then links into cities table which shows us all the cities um, and then which country they are um, and then our customers um, and what city they uh, live in and what, what their name is. Um, this then links into the sales uh, table which gives us all the sales for the customer um, and then we in there we've got item number which links into the items table give us some details about each of the items and the employee number of the person who made the sale um, and then this links into the employees table which gives us the employee name uh, and the employee manager so it's just a a fairly simple database that um, that, that gives us just enough to show you how to, to use various queries so I'm just going to close this off uh, in order to create a query uh, you just need to click on the queries tab and so a query is just a way of representing the data you've got in here um, or it can, they can also be used to manipulate the data in here uh, or or create new tables entirely uh, so let's get started with just a simple one so I'm only going to show you how to use queries in the design view uh, purely because I, I don't really like to use the wizards because um, if you know what you're doing in Design View, you can do everything you need to, uh, and you know exactly that it's doing exactly what you want it to. Um, so let's create a new query in Design View. So click on New, click on Design View. And it's going to ask you which tables you want to show. Uh, I'm just for now going to show the customers table. So I want to do a query off of the customers table. Click on customers. I'm going to click Add, and then I'm going to close that dialog box down. Um, I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to click on this line here and drag this down a bit um, just to give myself a little bit more room up here. Um, so this is your design view for a query. So you have your tables up here and then you can link them together however you want and then you have your uh, your fields for your query down here. So when you run run a query, it's going to come back in the same format as a as a table would, um, but you're not going to be able to manipulate the data w within it from within the query. It's just literally giving you a snapshot of your data in a different format to how you had it before. So let's say at the moment we've got customer ID, city, and customer name, um, but I just want to have a quick look at just what customers I have. So I'm going to click on customer name and I'm going to drag it down here and I put it here as my first field. And then I'm going to just click on run up here, the big exclamation mark, so click run and run my query. And then it's come through and it's shown just my customer names. So if we go into the customer table, then I'll show you what it's done here. So our customer table has an ID, a name and the city. And when we run our query, because we've only added in the, the customer name field, uh, all it's bringing through is just the customer's name and it's not giving us the information that we don't need. So that's really useful for just simply cutting out any data you don't want. Obviously with three fields it's not really it's not really an issue, but if say you have twenty fields, um which if you do I'm suggesting that you might have something a bit off in your database. Um but say you did and you just wanted to be able to see the, the one or two fields together um, then this is what you'd use that for. Um, you may be thinking that that's not amazing, um, but in the in the tutorials coming up, I'll, I'll, be able, I'll show you how you can manipulate your data and your queries in different ways, and you can come up with some really useful queries that will that give you 
really useful information and also help you to maintain your database. Um, so um, the only last thing we've got to do with this one is if I close it off, it's going to ask me if I want to save it. I click yes. It's going to ask for a name. So I'm going to put this as customer, uh, customers. Um, I've already got a table called customers. So if I click OK now, it's going to say, no, I'm not, I don't want you to have that because it's already a, an object within the database. Um, so just be, be careful of doing that. So I'm going to call this one customers query. Click OK close off that table and then now we've created that query if we go back into queries then you'll notice that it's now showing up here um, and if you double click on that it's going to run it for you and then it it's going to just show us what we've defined in the design mode um, and similarly uh, the tables if you click on one and click on design then it's just going to bring up the design window back for you again so that uh, that's the basics of setting up queries. Um, have a little practice if if you uh, if you get the chance. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to show you how we're going to create a query based off of multiple tables. Um, so thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.